do it, do it, and do it. So when I ran a webinar for virtual meetings and, and training, this is what I discovered. In our conversation in the chat, I cover an exercise. I call it the impression exercise. So I ask them a question, for example, uh, how would you use this particular solution on the job? So they will type it in the chat, right? But that very small uh, example or exercise is a part of a main exercise. So I then tell them, by the way, after the webinar, what I'd like you to do is to get this form and do the details of this exercise. So what's happened here is I tell them that, by the way, you already started the exercise by doing a mini exercise in the chat. But at the same time, I'd like you to completely fully develop the, the exercise individually so you become to make it personalized for yourself. You generalize your experience. So the bottom line is that do it, do it, and do it. You let the people do things because if you let them not do things, they'll sit. And when they sit, some of them would think, but most of the time it is by the doing of it that people learn.